If you're using Microsoft Forms, you know it's quite hard to automatically get the results out because we can go to responses and then open in Excel, but we'll have to do it like once a day and then manually save that Excel sheet. Let's create a nice automated solution in Power Automate that can automatically do the trick. So I go to Power Automate and then I click Create. Here I will say I want an automated cloud flow because I want this flow to run whenever we have a forms response. So our flows trigger, that is when a new response is submitted. We can also give it a name. Since I want uh, this uh, review uh, will be about my teaching capabilities, I will call this instructor review like this and then I'll click create. Now I'll create a new form that I can use here. So I go back to forms, then pick a new form. This will be a relatively simple form, but it can work on whatever form you have. And it's so, so nice. So I'll call the form instructor review like this. I will add three questions to the survey. So I'll say text. This one will be watch your name. I'll add a new one. It's not that important what's in it. It's just the approach that you need to keep a close attention to. Here I'll say how was the instructor. And finally, I'll add a new one. That one will be ratings that will be star. And here I'll just say rate your instructor by stars. And we have five different levels. So that's it. That's our form. We can now find it in Power Automate. So when I say pick form, we can see the instructor review here in the drop down. So this flow will run each time we get a new review. But we also want to do something about it. And uh, I'll pick new step. And I'll say get response details. We need to have the information that the user provided. So here I need to have a form ID and this trigger up here that produces an ID. So I will say instructor review and then the ID of uh, this one we got up here. That one we can trace backwards to the instructor review. So if I click here, choose the response ID. So now we combine the form ID that is the instructor review with a response ID to get this exact response that we got up here. Now let me just save it here. Let's close this. Let's manually do a test. Then we'll talk a little bit about the results and what we're going to do. So now if I go back to instructor review, then I'll say collect responses. Here you can see that I can copy the link out. So if I go to a new window and then just paste in the address. So what's your name? I'll say Anders. It's a little bit cheat. I review myself. How was the instructor? Great. And then I'll rate myself with five stars. Anyway, if you want to rate me, let me know in the comments. I'll be so glad for every feedback that you give me. Thank you. So now I'll say submit. If I go back to Power Automate, you can see my flow ran successfully. If I go into get response detail, that is the log. Here you can see I have my name. In, uh, how was the instructor? The ratings, that one will be a five star. Surprise. And here I will also have the responders email. That is important. We will collect the emails if the user is signed into Office 365. Right now it's only my organization that can answer. So I want to have some of this information printed into Excel. So I need an Excel sheet. So here I'll say new blank workbook. And it's important that it's either in your OneDrive, this, your Dropbox, or SharePoint. So we need to have access to the Excel sheet by the cloud. I call it book two, but shouldn't we give it a better name? So this one I will call instructor review Anders. And I'll place mine in documents, that is documents in OneDrive. I can find uh, create it down here in the file explorer in the OneDrive if I wanted that instead. But let's stick with this. So I'll say submission time, name, email, how was your instructor like this, and overall impression. Then I will just uh, mark, uh, sorry, I will do this and then I'll just 
do like this. So now we have our headers. One thing that we need to do so we can use this Excel sheet by um, Power Automate is to format it as a table. So mark the headers. We just had it, I know. And then go up here, format as table. If you use the desktop version of Excel, you can also control T to get format as table. Choose whatever design you want. It's not really important. I prefer the blue ones. Say that your table has headers. It does. And then we click OK. So now we can start to collect our responses into this Excel sheet. So what do we want to do? Go over here and then click Edit. We have the trigger. Then we get the responses and we can just start mapping it to Excel. It's that easy. So I'll say add a row into a table. Make sure you pick the right one. I pick uh, Excel Online for Business. That's my subscription. That's a work account. You probably have the same. So pick that one. Then you want to say, you want to say, I need to look into OneDrive for Business. But here I can also go to a SharePoint, SharePoint site if I have my Excel sheet there. So I'll say OneDrive for business, that's fine. The document library, that will also be OneDrive. And now I can find my file. I can click here. And since I um, made it in uh, the root of the OneDrive, I'll have mine in Instructor Review Anders. That one will be here in the default directory. But uh, say that, let me just uh, delete this. I can also click this uh, here. I can navigate inside my OneDrive. So uh, that one will also work. But for now, let me get the instructor review on this back. And here you'll see I have a table. That one is called table one. I could have named it better. And the way to do it is to go back here. And then I will scroll up and find results. I just thought it would disappear. So here I can just click in here, click table design. And I can rename it here. Right now, I will not do it because then I'll have to uh, redesign my flow. But you can find do it if you prefer to have it not named table one. Imagine you have several tables that you want to work on in a Power Automate flow. So the submission time, if I just click here, you can see that this dynamic content over here, I have the submission time. If this doesn't show up, it might look like this. Then you can just press this add dynamic content. It will show up. So say submission time. In name, pick what's your name. That was the uh, name of the question from uh, this one here. What's your name? And similarly, the email. Well, that one was, uh, was a little bit hidden, but uh, Microsoft automatically get that email. So we'll get it here if they are locked into Office 365 in your company. So how was your instructor? That one was rate your instructor. Overall impression. And that was rate your instructor. And here you can see I mapped, uh, I just need to say the how was the instructor and rate your instructor. And over here it says how was the instructor and overall impression. So um, let me just go back here. So how was your instructor? And that one, that should be how was the instructor. So, and a good practice is to create similar names in Excel and um, forms, then it will get a little bit easier, but uh, really not a problem. So right now, uh, this flow, this simple flow, we only have three steps and I'll show you that it works. And then we will refine it a bit and create a little uh, more advanced solution. So I click save, I test it manually. I go back here and then submit another response. So this one will be my clone Anders two. Uh, he will say good, but he will give five stars as well. Then he can click submit. So here you will see that my flow is running and we added a flow into a table check mark. We can go back here and you will find that we have our uh, all our feedback. We have it here. So if I just do this, we can see it here. We have the submission time, the name, the email, how was your instructor and the overall impression. It's that easy to automate with Power Automate. But let's say that I want to get an email each time I get a bad review. So say that I'm not sure. I know you're not the type that giving me one star, but imagine that a person comes to my course and think this is really bad. I'm reviewing Anders with one star. Since this is an online course, I want to know that immediately by an email. So I click edit. Now to collapse this, I can just click here and then we want a new step. So here I want to have, um, I need uh, the rating because I, I need to, uh, I need to convert it into an integer. When we get it out here, it comes into in into as a text. 
and we want to have it in an integer format. So we'll convert it into an integer and then we can say, if this rating is equal one, then we want to send an email. And let me just uh, click new step. And here I will say compose like this, and then I can click compose. So right now I will just use uh, the rating. So, um, and that one, don't pick the one under Excel, pick the one under get response details, because that's the direct runs we got here. And here I want to say rate your instructor. So um, I'll go here. And then uh, you can see here that we have an ex expression. And this is because um, this uh, field in forms, it's, it is named, uh, it is in the body and then it's named R50, 50, 50, 50, E31, F2. And I can show you where that comes from. So let me just save it because this is an important uh, lesson in Power Automate as well. So if I go back here into my flows, let's just pick one of the two locks that we created. So if I pick this one, I go in here and then if I go into get response details, now you can see here um, we have a body. If I go to show raw outputs, you can even see it here in the body. You can see these uh, weird fields. That is, the, this is what's your name actually in the instructor view that has a code. This is a static code, so we can refer to that code and we refer to that by saying we want the output of this um, action here. And we want to go into body, we want to go in here in this R8, blah, blah, blah. And then we want to get whatever we'll have here. Actually, it's it's this one because we want the five out. But the syntax is similar. So let me just uh, go back to my flow. I can edit it here. And we have our compose. So uh, we want this expression. Sometimes when you want to peek at the code, it's very nice. We can get it out very, very easy. We can just uh, click these three dots here, peak code, and you'll find it here. So if I just from the O, don't pick the ath at and to the uh, last part of the hard bracket, control C to copy this one out, then click done. Now we can delete the compose. We just wanted the expression out because then when I click new step here, then I'll have a condition. Now I want to say if this one is equal to one, then I want an email to be sent. So here I'll say condition and up here I need to create a uh, an expression because I can get the rating here, but I need to convert it to an integer first and we will do that with an expression. So what I will do here is that I'll say int and I'll say parentheses start. It automatically made the last one and then I just control V it in. There's actually another way to do it because if I click control set, I'm in here, I can move to the dynamic content. And then I can get the radio uh, instructor, you can see that this actually also give me but sometimes that's not that that's uh, not possible. So I want to show you where it's actually from. I think that's a, a very valuable lesson. So now I click OK, we uh, insert it here. So if that one is equal to one, then I want to go into the yes brands. Otherwise, if it's a good review, I will not do something about it currently. So over here, I will just send myself an email. So I'll say send an email like this. And I'll send an email from the Office uh, 365 Outlook. Uh, usually that's the one you want to pick. So make sure you pick the one from uh, Office 365 Outlook, send an email. So where do I want to send it to? Well, I want to send it to myself so I can search for myself. That one is here. The subject, well, I can say bad rating. And then we can make a, a nice thing. We can make a dynamic email. So we can say you got a bad rating from, and then we want a name that the user specified. So if I just go down here into dynamic content over here again, if it doesn't show up, click this app dynamic content. You get a bad rating from what's your name. That's the name that the user provided with the email. And this will not always be available, but we really want it. So we can uh, write that one and just say, uh, sorry, do you want your money back? So that's it. And we can click save and see that this whole thing works. So now if I test it, let's do a manual test. Let's do another review. 
So right now it runs. I'll submit another response. This one will be Anders tree. And actually it will not be Anders. Anders will not uh, rate these things uh, that bad. So it will be uh, Donald tree. Uh, he's not that um, happy about my course. So uh, um, let's send ourselves an email. So bad. Then we want uh, to give ourselves one star and then send it. It really hurts to give myself one star, but that's just the way it is. Now our flow is running. You can see it still runs because this condition is grayed out. Right now it ran. This expression is true. And let me just open, pause the video, open the email and show it to you. I opened up the email on the other screen. I just didn't want to share it with you and I can drag it in. That's it. That's how easy it is to automate Microsoft Forms with Power Automate. The next video I prepared for you about Power Automate is right up here. You should go click it. See you.